you just can't believe the things you write. Say so much injustice in this life. And it's happening right on your TV screen. So you drop to your knees and you're praying. Cause you can hear him say and he can't breathe. And it's all so overwhelming. Because you know there's nothing you can do to help him. Continue to breathe. Continue to breathe. In times like these, that's what your heart is. Happy Friday, teachers and scholars. Remember, it doesn't matter what happened yesterday, what happened this morning on the way to school, what happened when you walked into the building. I just want you to take a moment right at this second just to breathe. You can always reset your day. Even after you have a bad moment, you get like a tally mark, you can always turn your day around. Never let one, one mishap, one bad thing, one bad moment determine how the rest of your day goes. It's been an awesome week. I am so proud of the work that we have all accomplished together this week. On Monday, we only had 2% 2 of our students who had completed the iReady diagnostic test. And this afternoon, Mr. Hill uh, told me that we were at 79 and 80% in reading and math. I just want you to give yourself a hand right now because together, there's nothing that we can't accomplish. If that's not raising a bar because we weren't supposed to be able to go from two to 80 in three days, but we did it. I'm looking forward to today. Our goal is to try to get to 100% or as close as we possibly can. I know that we can do it. I'm depending on you. I know that together we're gonna raise the bar and just show people about the great things that are happening at the Hill. Let's get started with our morning announcements. Good morning, Silly Kids, elementary students and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bobcat affirmation. Good morning, Silly Kids, elementary students and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bobcat Affirmation. Bobcat Affirmation. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choices. I am excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am understanding the differences. I am a leader. I am a bobcat. This has been Mila Adams from Mr. Kane's class. Remember, at Sunny Hills Elementary School, every student counts and every moment matters. Bobcat. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Scenic Hill School should strive to display our foundational values. In order to do this, you must think about the three R approach, which is to be respectful, be responsible, and to always be ready to learn. Hey, hello, Bobcats. This is Ms. Dunlap coming to you to talk about our word of the month. Our word for the month of August is respect. Respect is one of the school-wide expectations. Let's talk about what that looks like. When we respect our teachers, we listen 
to what our teachers say, and we do what they ask us to do the first time. When we respect our classmates, we're kind to them. And we also are accepting and appreciative of our differences. Some of us are tall, some of us are short like Ms. Dunlap, some of us have straight hair, some of us have curly hair. Some of us catch on really, really fast when it comes to our schoolwork and some of us, it takes a little while longer. But either way, we are to be respectful of one another. And finally, we need to respect ourselves. Our moms and our dads and our grandma and our family community have done a lot to teach us the right things to do. And we respect ourselves and our family by doing the right thing and making good choices. So remember, this month, let's make sure we are being respected. Well, it is Friday, August the 27th, and we don't have any birthdays today. But on Monday, I see a whole group of scholars that we're going to wish a happy birthday to. And maybe there might be a couple of teachers on the horizon who are celebrating their birthdays this weekend or next week. Hmm. I wonder if it'll be your teacher. What do you think? Maybe you should ask your teacher when their birthday is so you can find out if you need to bring a birthday present on monday to the teacher whose birthday is on monday hmm see you then all right we still didn't have any classes to reach 100 percent for attendance but we did have mr kane's fifth grade class who came in at 95 percent attendance so i know that on monday we're gonna have 100 percent because we all there was only one scholar who was absent in that class so i know that we're going to make 100 percent on monday i can't wait to announce all of the classes who are at 100 percent Today's classroom spotlight goes to our grade one scholars who were caught studying and reading the words on the wall while waiting in line at the restroom. Fantastic job. Remember, brilliant bobcats are always ready to learn. Congratulations goes to a few of our classes who have now entered the 100% club. That means that every scholar in these classrooms have completed the iReady diagnostic test. In reading, we want to congratulate Ms. Kissel and Ms. Carroll's classes. And in math, Mr. Kane and Dr. White's class. Congratulations, we are so proud of you. Remember, every day we're building brilliant Bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future. We will conclude our announcements with our victory roar. Say it with me. Together, we must believe. Together, we will achieve. Together, we are reimagining 901. Have a fantastic day of teaching and learning.